on today's menu a delicious recipe that's from meant to be a tangy homemade kimchi. Lei ho ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. I was out grocery shopping the other day and I was craving some kimchi. Then I thought it'd be curious to see what the cost difference would be to making kimchi at home. But of course, do keep in mind that there's a big time and effort difference between making kimchi at home and buying store-bought. So this is purely just for fun. Definitely watch to the end of the episode where we tally everything up, see where we're at. So let's begin. Chop the Napa cabbage in half. In this episode, we're only using about 500 grams of Napa cabbage. Carefully remove the core. This particular nap cabbage here is massive and this recipe is only really good for about 500 grams of napa cabbage. So we're not gonna be using this entire thing in this episode, but you can definitely multiply this recipe to make a larger batch if you like. You might just need to make it in several batches because you'll see that this takes up a lot of space. Chop the cabbage in half. Chop the cabbage further into large bite-sized pieces. Transfer the cabbage to a large mixing bowl. Rinse and drain the cabbage a couple of times to get rid of any dirt or sand. Sprinkle over about two tablespoons of salt. Gently toss the cabbage. Spread out the cabbage and let it sit for about 25 minutes. About five to six radishes quartered. This here is amazing lobak, kind of like an underappreciated ingredient, but this will add a magical, almost crunch to this kimchi. Peel about 300 grams of lobak. Slice the lobak into small bite-sized cubes. Blender, garlic, small piece ginger, one and a half teaspoons salt, one tablespoon cane sugar, roughly two tablespoons of pre-cooked rice, half cup water. quarter cup gochugaru or Korean pepper powder. Blend on high for about 20 seconds or until it forms a paste. You can add a couple splashes of water if it has trouble blending. Transfer the cabbage back into the large mixing bowl. Rinse and drain. Add the radishes and lobak. Add in the pepper paste. This part you definitely want to use gloves for. Mix well to combine. Transfer the kimchi into some clean glass jars.
it's absolutely crucial not to overstuff the jars and to leave a few inches of space. Very lightly tighten the lids on the jars. Leave the jars out for five days in room temperature. They'll be ready to enjoy in five days, but transfer them to the fridge to slow down the fermentation. It's up to you if you like to ferment the kimchi for an extra day or two. Once the kimchi is transferred to the fridge, you should enjoy it for up to one to two weeks. You can now make this tangy kimchi with absolute confidence. This is such a nice little snack or a great ingredient for other recipes. Man, that is so deliciously crisp and bright and tangy. Kimchi for me is always visually stunning. It has this beautiful crimson red color and it's just so deliciously fresh. The Napa cabbage is so crisp. The lobak, like I mentioned, gives that magical crunchiness along with that radish. And those guys really soak up that delicious pepper flavor. You have this extraordinary salty, sweet, spicy and tangy flavor and naturally you get this amazing juice that comes out of the kimchi which would be a great base for a spicy tofu stew and why i love chopping the napa cabbage into thick larger pieces is so that you really retain this crazy crispy crunch that is just so satisfying and so incredibly addictive the flavors are so dynamic and it's so incredibly simple to make just requires a little bit of patience but you can very easily make this extraordinary kimchi at home. Let's weigh in to see how much it costs to make homemade kimchi, keeping in mind the price of produce will differ depending on location. Napa cabbage $1.50, lobak $1, radish $0.50, cents. gochugaru $1.15, garlic $0.05, cents. ginger $0.10, cents. rice Ten cents, cane sugar three cents, salt and water about fifteen cents. Our total is about four dollars and fifty-eight cents for about triple the amount of kimchi. There definitely is a big difference in cost, quantity, and of course you can control what you'd like to put in that kimchi mix. Also, there is a big difference in time and efforts, as I've mentioned. So definitely not trying to discourage buying store bought if you want to enjoy that kimchi right away instead of waiting one week. But if you love easy and delicious recipes like this, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of one of the three Young Man Cooking cookbooks. You can also check out the Young Man Cooking merch or plant-based sushi masterclass in the link in the description box below, or you can visit youngmancooking.com. If you're not already subscribed with that notification bell clicked, definitely do so so you won't miss a single episode.